Hello, friends. Now let's solve the next greater element one problem. Let's first see a statement. You are given two arrays without duplicates, numbers one and numbers two, where numbers one's elements are subset of numbers two. Find all the next greater numbers for numbers one's elements in the corresponding place of numbers two. The next great number of a number x in numbers one is the first great number two is right in numbers two. If it does not exist, output negative one for this number. Uh, let's see the example. The first number is four, so we find uh, the four in the numbers two is here, and then we go right to find uh, whether. There is some elements that is greater than four. There is no, so we return negative one. Then the next element is one. Then we find the one in the numbers two, and we go right. We find uh, three is greater than one, so we return three. And uh, then we find the two in numbers two, but there are no elements on its right, so we return negative one. So as you can see, uh, we need to first uh, pro-processing numbers two, because we need to find the element in numbers two. So maybe we need a data structure to solve uh, the elements, the next great element uh, with the res with the number respectively in a data structure, and the best. Uh, Data structure, I think, uh, is hash map. For every element in numbers two, we record uh, that element and uh, its next great element in the map. So when we uh, need to generate the result, we just uh, need to, for every element, we get that uh, next great element in the map because every uh, element in this num in this arrays are. Uh, Unique. So how to process? So the key point of this question is to pre-processing, pre-processing the numbers too. How to get the next great element? The brute force solution should be for every element we go is right to check whether there is some element greater than it. If uh, there, if we find some element greater than that. Number we just uh, uh, record that uh, number to the map, but we can have a better solution. As you can see, if we have find this next great element for every element, then it should be like increasing, which means it's ascending. So can we combine all these ascending? Like uh, pairs or uh, sequ uh, sequence, we may think about using stack because this question is a classic question for using stack. Basically, we have two choice. One is processing these numbers to from left to right. Another way is from right to left. I think from right to Left is uh, easy understanding. So, as you can see, for the number two, because there are no elements on its right, so we return negative one. And then we will put uh, the index of a number of these two into the stack because it can be the candidate uh, next great element of its uh, uh, left elements. Then we Process this four, and we compare this four with the stack. Like we first compare this four with the peak of the stack. If the peak of the stack is less than, uh, is less than this two, we just uh, pop that element, because if the element in the stack is less than the current element, it can never be the candidate result. Of the all the elements <coughs> always left, because if some element on the current elements have some next great element, it should 
at the least be this four. It can never be the elements less than four on its right. So that's the key part. And then we uh, maintain ascending sequence in the stack. Uh, like uh, it can, it should be the stack should uh, at first it will be three because we save the index. It will be easier for us to get the element. We first save three into the stack, and then we process this four. We know the numbers two, three is less than four, so we'll pop these three, and then we save the two into the stack. That will be two. And then for this three, it is less than the uh, peak of the stack. So we just uh, push that into the stack. So the stack will be one, two. And then so on so forth, we just uh, push that zero to the stack. So the elements in the stack are increasing. We can simply get that uh, um, next great element uh, in the map from right to left. Okay, let's solve it. We first get the n, n is the numbers two dot length. And we need a stack. We usually use stack because it is an interface and is quicker, faster than the uh, stack class. So we use uh, array deck. And then we need a map and the key is the value of the numbers and the value will be the next great element is a map and a new hash map and we also need a result array and the size should be numbers one dot length then we process this numbers three and we start from the right so n minus one i great or equal than zero i minus minus so while because every time we want to get the peak of the stack, we should make sure the stack is not empty. So when the stack is not empty and the, <clears throat> and the numbers 2, uh, i is greater than numbers 2, stack peak, we just uh, pop, keep pop. So now we when we out this while loop, we only have two cases. One case is the stack is empty. So we just uh, know the next great element of the numbers 2i is negative 1. And uh, or there is some element that is greater than the current element. So we know that or we put uh, the key will be numbers 2i and the value will be we first check if the stack is empty. Then we return negative one. If not, we return numbers two. That will be stack pick. Okay, then we generate the result. That will be, ah, oh, but do not forget to push the current index into the stack. Or we will never, the stack will ever always be the empty. Start from zero. I less than numbers. One dot length i plus plus, and the result i will be the map get numbers one i. Finally, return result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.